Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, we're going over the Node.js challenges from Node School. This is a big part of the curriculum at Free Code Camp. So, um, yeah, check it out. Uh, great community, awesome website to learn full stack development. And uh, anyway, enough talking. We're halfway through the series right now, and we are going to uh, use a different node module, the HTTP module, in order to make a Git request, a network request. So let's check out the challenge. Dagnabbit, I always do that. <laughs> All right, so as usual, uh, take a pause, read the instructions, read the hints. Um, when you have finished reading, uh, play the video again and watch me code along. Okay, so I'm going to create a new file. This is HTTP client, so let me create a new file with that name. HTTP client.js. All right, without further ado, let's bring in our module. And require HTTP and oops, this not right. And this is a native module. So if you go to the documentation, here it is. There's one for HTTP and TTPS. Uh, so lots of different modules available to you right here. Uh, there it are. Uh, there it is. So you can take a look at it and read all about it. Okay, so uh, what we have here, uh, we're going to have a URL given to us on the command line. So const URL equals process .rtv2. Okay, perfect. All right, so we are going to call it HTTP with git. All right, we're going to give it a URL, and it's going to take a callback, but it doesn't have an error object as uh, most other callbacks have. So uh, is this going to be a response? And this response is a is a special object in Node. It's a stream object. It, it's like it's like what it sounds. It's just like this like constantly kind of flowing stream of data from um, you know kind of like across you know the wire you know especially for you know network requests and um, the stream object it has three properties it has an uh, it has a data property an error property and uh, also it has um, it has an end property so um, it's like these different emits, uh, events that that get emitted with this uh, stream object uh, so without further ado um, Let's get right into it. So this needs a callback, and it has one argument, response. Okay, and that is going to be a fat arrow function. It's the only argument in our callback, so you know you don't need the parentheses. But you know, I guess to make it a bit more clear, uh, there it is. Okay, perfect. So um, the first thing I like to do um, is uh, let's just. Uh, you know, check for errors first. That's always a good idea. So response dot on error. Okay, and this is going to take a callback. Uh, let's just make it one line. So console dot error equals error. Okay, perfect. So if there's any errors, we got it handled. Um, now, if there are no errors, okay, no problem. Uh, let's set the encoding to UTF-8 uh, because the response is going to be um, it's going to be you know receiving buffer objects. So we need to just set the encoding so it strings. So response dot set encoding. Okay, let's give it a string of UTF-8. Okay, perfect. So response dot on data and if there is data, it's going to take a callback, okay, of data, uh, or, you know, we can call it anything we want to, but let's just call it data. All right, let's give it a fat arrow function like that, okay? And uh, we're just going to log it to the console. So console.log data, very good. And that's it. So if we save that, and if we, oops, if we run it, learn your node, verify, uh, let's see, what was it? 07 HTTP client. Oops. Uh, something did not happen. Wait a second. I have a mistake right here. Oh, I sure do. I messed up. No problem. Always, always, always read your command line. Okay, so this does not have any. Oh, yes, it does. It has one argument. Perfect. All right, let's try that again. 
Okay, awesome. That was pretty cool. So you can see here it uh, printed it out, and uh, basically we're we're making a GET request to some URL, and uh, we're checking for the errors, and then we get a stream object back, and uh, it has uh, you know many different properties. It has an error event, it has a data event, and uh, it also has an end event. So watch this response dot on end. Okay, it doesn't take uh, any arguments. It does have a callback function, but it doesn't take any arguments. Console.log. And we'll just write end of stream. Okay. Let's let's just run it so you can see what I mean. Okay, cool. So uh, it made a request to some URL, and then it got like a stream and like data, and then some more data, and another blob, and a blob, and a blob, a blob, blob, more blob. And then finally, at the end of the stream, oh, that's the end. No more stream, no more data. And then we print in the stream, which comes right here. So pretty cool things, um, and uh, lots of fun, uh, you know, making requests with Node. Okay, so that one was fairly easy. It, it got like really difficult in the last uh, two challenges, especially for, uh, you know, make it modular. That was a lot of code. This one, uh, you know, we're, you know, changing the pace a little bit. And uh, this one was a, a bit easier to work with. But I promise they will get more and more challenging. So let's take a break. Uh, go to the kitchen, get your favorite beverage. And when you are ready, uh, come back here and we will continue writing code in Node.js. Bye-bye for now. Bye!